Like this, I guess this is the fun part. Joe Baba, as much as he did help us get going, because had it not been for him being like, hey, I have a building, you guys want to run a show? Like we really wouldn't have been running anything when we did and probably still wouldn't be running anything today. It was the cheapest building around. How did Joe Bob's affect the show? How did he know? Um, if Bob didn't like something, if George walked in and didn't say the right thing or the wrong thing, he'd want him gone. So then I'd spend the entire fucking show trying to explain why I can't fire George Martell, why I can't fire CJ uh, O'Doyle. Like I had ran into so many instances where his one of his kids would not like someone because they were healing it up and they took it personally. And I had to fight with them for hours. Uh, you were there, cops were called on people because they won't, Bob refused to comp people. Bob refused to give us the pay that we, we you know, our door. Uh, but he did, like, he was a roadblock to a lot of it. Uh, there was a lot of people who threatened to leave because of the way he was, uh, he was acting. He uh, got involved in the creative aspects, which really, like, uh, you know, another hand in the pot just wasn't necessary. And there was times where, like, he just took way too much money. Uh, the deal was always changing. He always wanted more money. Um, but, I mean, he did do some good for us. Uh, you know, he was providing his ring. It was his building. Um, you know, a lot of the equipment, uh, hell, the curtains and stuff like that, he'd come out of pocket for flyers. So, uh, I mean, uh, kind of a love-hate relationship there. It was tiny. It wasn't uh, the most aesthetically pleasing joint, you know what I mean? Uh, but it, it was still a place to have a show. And, you know, any, any place you can put a show and get people in to see it, it's still a good place. Um, but uh, the people from the building itself were very... They seemed like they were unhappy to have people in there and to be making money at the same time. I get there and I walk in and I was just like, are you... <laughs> are you fucking kidding me? Like, I just looked at the place and I was like, this is, it's so dirty, like, it's so... Uh, I don't know, it's not even sterile looking in here. Like I said, the seats, the seats in there look like something you'd see in a 1975 bowling alley, or a bowling alley that hasn't been renovated since 1975. And it was just, the ring was dirty looking, there was... I, I couldn't tell who was a worker and who was a fan. I, I, I didn't know, and I was like, oh boy, do I want to be part of this? I don't know. And I, I, I'm like, well, I'll go to the locker room and see what's going on. Needless to say, the locker room turned out to be, well, it was, uh, it was outside. The, the locker room was outside. There was a bunch of those chairs sitting outside and people just getting dressed in the back. And I was like, wow, I don't know what I'm really getting myself into.